Good morning, beautiful people. It is Joel McElhaney. I'm coming to you live. This is Monday Morning Coffees with Joel. I first want to start by saying happy Thanksgiving Day. I hope you all are enjoying amazing food, friends, and family on a day like today. And today I'm just going to talk quickly about some of the things that we need to be looking for and watching for, some announcements that are pretty important that are coming up in terms of the economy and how that's going to play into the real estate market. So grab your coffees and let's talk. The first thing we want to, I wanna just remind everyone in, is sort of the pulse of the current market. So we are in a very strong seller's market in St. John. We are still seeing high demand, low supply, multiple offers are very common now and have been. If anything, there is, uh, I'm sensing uh, more of this happening, stronger competition for every listing. Our average price as of the last stats release was 306,929, so 306,000 roughly, uh, which is pretty high. And I'm curious to see when they release the stats, hopefully next week, hopefully on this video next week, I'll have the new stats for you if they're released in time. If not, it'll be the following week, but it'd be interesting to see what's happening to that average price as supply decreases and demand remains very strong. Next, I wanna talk about what's going on in the fixed rate mortgage sector. There was a lot of press on bonds. So that's what affects your fixed rate. And there was a sell-off of government bonds in the last week or so that has a lot of people saying that is going to raise the rates on fixed rate mortgages. So we're gonna stay tuned and see what happens with that. Not only that, but we have two announcements coming up that are going to affect our variable rate mortgages. One being on October 17th, the Statistics Canada will release the CPI number, that's the Consumer Price Index. That number is what Tiff Macklem at the Bank of Canada wants to know, and he's gonna, it's not just that, but that's gonna be a key factor in helping him determine whether he raises the overnight lending rate. And that will very much affect fixed rate mortgages. So if CPI has increased, isn't stabilizing and decreasing, that could mean that the Bank of Canada on October 25th raises the key interest rate, what a lot of people are thinking will be 25 basis points. So that'll be an interesting number to watch. So these, this is what's currently happening in the real estate market, and I hope you found that informative. If you have any specific questions about where you are and what your house is worth, I'd be happy to come and do a free in-home analysis. Hope you found this helpful, and until I see you next time, Keep being awesome.